Oh, hi, everybody. Uh, I hope everybody's having a good day wherever you are. Ooh, yeah, I'm a little sleepy. Um, the subject I was talking about is sleep during shit in the fan. I don't know. I don't think there's too many videos on sleep during shit in the fan because people should... Uh, yeah, they should be talking about um, sleep because um, during um, shit in the fan, how much sleep does a person... Most people need like eight hours and... And when you get older, people need more sleep. I sleep a lot because nowadays, uh, if you're not working or, um, or, or people who are retired, like senior citizens or, um, or young people need a lot of sleep. Sorry, got food on. Um, need a lot of sleep because, uh, they need a lot of sleep. Senior citizens sleep a lot. Um, they t some people take naps and stuff now, but during shit in the fan or after, uh, a lot of people might be sleep deprived because they'll be stressed out because there's going to be a lot of stress when, uh, shit in the fan and a lot of people are going to have to stay up to make sure no one, you know, I'm lucky I'm a light sleeper. So noise can, you know, I'm, I'd be waking up. So I'd be good at keeping standing guard if um, something happens. And it's also good to have, um, if you have a dog or something, um, or a pet during shit in the fan, or if you have special arms to keep people from coming to your house, or if you live in a condo or an apartment, it's even good because it's harder for people to break into a condo or a house. I mean, I mean an apartment than it is in a house unless you have a bunch of deadbolts and stuff for people to get in then you'll be more safer because you know um living without sleep you know your body needs it to rest you need to rest and there's not a huge amount of videos about sleep you need it to rest your body needs to rest it's like recharging your battery you need to recharge your battery all the time even if you could always take little cat naps you know because, you know, people who've been, you know, like people who are doctors or nurses who work in the emergency room or, or, or people who work in, you know, um, like, like people who work in fire departments, ambulance drivers, sometimes they are sleep deprived. And if you have sleep deprived, you feel like falling asleep, you're tired, your brain doesn't work properly. I have times where I haven't slept too well and my brain doesn't work, you know, because I'm, Sometimes you worry or something because during the shit fan in the fan, I think you're going to worry a lot about different things and you have things on your mind more to worry about. Um, so you'll, you might not always have the best night's sleep. You might be yawning, falling asleep. You know, mind might not work, uh, capable making plans, planning things ahead because that's what, uh, sleeping does. It makes you, um, I think it makes your mind um, be able to work problems out and it helps your brain to rest because if you don't have too much sleep, you're, you're, you'll fall asleep or it's not safe to drive. I don't know if there will be cars during the van or walking and making sure you're, you're being alert. That's the word I'm looking for. To keep yourself alert and focused, being focused without sleep is very hard because you you might be doing something wrong or doing something wrong or saying something that you're not supposed to or act a certain way. You might be more irritable, be more upset, get cranky, snap at people, get, get angry. If you don't get enough sleep, people can get, you know, they get testy, they get angry, they get irritable, they might pick fights with people. People have different emotions when they are sleep deprived or don't have enough sleep. Because, like I said, it would be good if you could take naps um, during the shit in the fan. If you, you know, because your body might change times. You might not sleep uh, like during the night. You might have to sleep during the day for a couple hours during the day, throughout the days. Because you also, you also have to think of you'll be doing more work. Uh, during the shit in the fan, probably, um, if you live, especially if you live out in the, um, in the, uh, suburbs or in farms or places that, uh, have things where you have to do more work because, you know, you have to keep yourself work because life's not going to be as easy during shit in the fan. And you're, you're, you'll be like, 
not more act, you know, you won't be as active and you're supposed to make yourself more active. You'll be just tired. You don't feel like doing too much. And that's hard because people can take advantage of you if you're tired and you don't have the motivation to do things because all you'll feel like doing is sleeping all the time, you know, and you'll have to have someone watching you, um, watching your back. Or if, like I said, if you have any pets, they can be your guard. It's good to have pets. Um, even if you had a cat or something, it'd be good. So I just wanted to make this um, quick video about sleep in shit in the fan and during should are you going to get enough sleep probably not as much as eight hours maybe you'll get five or six and you know some people don't have some like i said like i'm going to say some people don't need a lot of sleep and other people need more sleep and it depends on the person's ability and how you're gonna how you can live because some people like i said don't need a lot and a lot of people need more and some people have uh or have trouble sleeping, you know. So until my next video, take care and bye.